Hello, I'm Jen D. Han with the Fort Knox Public Affairs Office. The COVID-19 pandemic has had many ups and downs since it first began sweeping the globe more than two years ago. New variants, adjustments in mandates, and vaccine availability has made following the latest information difficult at times. I'm joined today by Dr. James Stevens, the Chief of Preventative Medicine at Fort Knox's Ireland Army Health Clinic, to discuss the most recent COVID-19 updates and some things the Fort Knox community should be aware of, especially going into the July 4th holiday. Thank you for being with us today, Dr. Stevens. Thank you for inviting me. I'd like to open by asking you about what the current state of COVID-19 is overall. Well, when we look overall, we can start with globally. So globally, it's no question, there's still high cases throughout and we see spikes in most countries going on. Nationally, we still have a lot of cases, but we are starting to go down a little bit. Matter of fact, we had a 16% decrease just in the last week from the week previously. Now we still have 89,000 cases, but that's 16% less than the week before. So it's at least a good start. In our local area here, we're starting to see decreases as well. As most people know, Hardin County was high for a while uh, per CDC. We had it for almost three weeks. But in this last week, as of yesterday, we just went down to medium. We went from 13,000 cases down to 77,900 cases. So we're going in the right direction. Well, that's really great to hear. So let's talk a little bit about vaccines. What's the latest information about what's available, who should get them, and how often? That is a great question because that changes almost twice a day. As a matter of fact, we just had an update this morning concerning Moderna from CDC. So the vaccines, as everybody has heard in the news, everything, everybody from six months up to whatever age you want to be are recommended to have vaccines. And there's a lot of different dosing, a lot of different schedules, and a lot of different recommendations based upon ages, based upon the vaccine itself, and based upon your medical conditions. The basics, if we just split things up into ages, which is the most common and probably takes care of 90% of the people watching, is six months to four to five years. Pfizer has a dose of three doses. That's it, it's not booster dose, it's not anything else, it's just three separate doses. The Moderna has two separate doses, just for that age group in and of itself. And that is considered the primary vaccine for that age group. There's no booster recommended for those just yet. For the ages of five to 17 or 18, depending on Moderna or Pfizer, primary dosing of two shots and then a recommended booster dose in and of itself. For those of us who are 18 and above, uh, same thing, two primary doses, one booster dose. And for mumble mumble years of my age, two primary doses, anybody 50 years and above, two primary doses and two booster doses. If you have a medical condition or an immunocompromised state such as cancer, HIV, or on certain medications for autoimmune diseases, you actually add a booster dose to each of those levels. So that's the easiest, simplest way is two primary and at least one booster, over 50, two boosters. Dr. Stevens, what, if any, precautions should community members take as they go into the 4th of July holiday? The biggest thing is the same thing we've been touting this entire time. Number one, first and foremost, stay home if you're sick. And we cannot hammer that one enough. If we look at the number of cases, the number of contacts, the number of places we have large spikes, almost invariably it starts with one person who came in sick thinking it was just allergies. So stay home if you're sick, encourage others to do the same. Follow good hygiene, wash your hands, wear a mask if you don't feel comfortable and don't care what anybody else thinks about you. Going into large crowds, especially in areas where it's a high um, transmission rate, try to stay away from large crowds or try to social distance yourself. Just be the wallflower. Just try to keep people at arm's distance and you should be fairly safe. Vaccinate, vaccinate, and vaccinate as well. That's all really great information, Dr. Stevens, thank you. To close, what do you feel is the most important message to send to our community members regarding COVID-19? The biggest thing is it's working. Everything that we are doing is working at this time. 
all the mitigating strategies that we've done, the vaccines, the medications, the social distancing, the shutting down even, it, it hurt us financially and socially, but overall it helped. Even if we look in the last six months, okay, from January 20th till July 20th, January 20th, we had 13,600 cases, but we had 2,300 of those cases in the hospital and 380 of them on a ventilator. That's 17% in the hospital, 2% on the ventilator. As of Monday, we had 7,900 cases. We had only 370 in the hospital. That's less than 5%. And only 25 across the entire state on a ventilator, which is 0.3%. So we, we have seen everything work. The vaccines, the social distancing, the time, the exposure, everything we've talked about for the past two years is working. We're not out of this yet, so we need to continue doing what we've been doing. And over time, it will become just a normal other coronavirus, just like the rest of the colds. All such important information. I really appreciate that. And thank you again for being here with us today. You're welcome. With Fort Knox News, I'm Jen DeHaan.